Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Sonic the Hedgehog and this movie came out in 2020 and is directed by Jeff Fowler, if I pronounced that correctly. And this is his first feature film. He directed nothing before this and for a first feature film with it being a big budget a blockbuster film, it's not terrible. I didn't hate this movie and there are parts of it that I liked, those being... Sonic, I liked him as a character. He was fun to watch, especially when uh, the movie wasn't trying to be serious and trying to be, like, really goofy and upbeat. And I'm pretty sure you all know about uh, the redesign for Sonic. And you can find uh, the original design online. And I'm not a fan of that original design, but this one that we eventually got, uh, I liked. The visual effects, for the most part, uh, looked good. Nothing looked uh, super fake uh, for 99% of it. Overall, I wasn't bored. I was with the film. I didn't uh, feel the urge to watch it in 1.5 times speed uh, for the most part. And if you're wondering uh, why I mentioned uh, that, uh, that's because I watched this movie on Netflix. And with the exception of like a a couple of moments uh, where I was really feeling the urge to do that, I didn't really feel the runtime all that much, and this movie is not that long. It's an hour and 40 minutes, which I feel is the perfect runtime for this movie. And I do like it that this movie has some level of self-awareness to it, and it doesn't always take itself seriously, but when it does, it kind of drags for me, and that's some of my least favorite parts of the movie, for sure. And Jim Carrey, he was uh, fun to watch uh, for the most part. I didn't uh, really find him uh, funny or anything, but uh, it felt like he was uh, bringing a lot of energy uh, to the character, and that's what I liked. And honestly, the only scene that I can happily do without uh, throughout the entire runtime of the movie is the opening scene. Like, it didn't need to be in the movie at all. I don't understand why it needed to be there, and just filled with uh, cliches and uh, familiar tropes, and... The dialogue in this movie is kind of bad at points. (laughs) Like, to the point where all I kept thinking is, really, we're doing this. The action scenes in this movie weren't anything particularly uh, special or something that I was super engaged with. I liked uh, watching Sonic uh, run around, uh, which is always fun. And overall, I found this movie to be harmless. Like, you can watch this movie uh, with your family and... uh, It's not a terrible movie to watch, is how I felt about it. And when I was done watching the movie, I kind of realized, this is kind of a bad movie to review, simply because there isn't really a whole lot to talk about. This movie does have a mid credit scene, so you should probably stick around for that. And I honestly wasn't expecting this movie to be a road trip movie, but it is. And there's some funny jokes in the movie, for sure that the movie was able to come up with. (laughs) And that's about all I have to say about Sonic the Hedgehog. It was harmless. It did everything that it had to. And there isn't really a whole lot of elements to the film that are super memorable. That's about all I have to say about it. So you can check this movie out if you want, but if you want to skip it, you're really not missing a whole lot. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Sonic the Hedgehog and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bowling Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Cape Fear. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.